We're heading into the final home series here at Husky Ballpark for the Washington baseball team, and I'm here catching up with senior outfielder Jack Meggs. Jack, a very illustrious career here at UW. Um, clearly, personal accolades, stats, um, those are all very obvious things, but what's something that is kind of an intangible talent that you um, have kind of garnered here at UW? Um, just being a better teammate and creating relationships with everyone who's walked in through our locker room. Uh, that's very important to me and very important to our culture here. So I think that's uh, probably the most important thing and something that I'm going to miss the most, honestly, is just uh, just hanging out with the guys and uh, hanging out in the locker room, playing ping pong, just forming relationships with everybody. Yeah, and it, you've been described as a fiery leader, um, someone that clearly, you know, you've become a leader and you're, you were elected captain for a reason. The guys respect you. Is that something that you identify with and how did that come about? Um, yeah, I just try to... Uh, lead by example and play as hard as I can and uh, I play with a lot of emotion and uh, try to have no fear when I play so I think guys kind of caught on to that and um, just building relationships with everybody and getting to know everybody on a personal level just it helps the team and helps us win games. Your final games here at Husky Ballpark, uh, what is the fondest memory that you can think of um, at this ballpark? I think just my freshman year, just watching it get built in front of us. Uh, we practiced here with just the turf, and we didn't have any of the surroundings, like any of the any of the bleachers or anything. So I just think watching that kind of grow and coming in as a freshman too, and being promised that there's going to be a new ballpark and seeing it being built in front of us. I mean, that's that was pretty cool, and we got to see every step of the way. We got to sign one of the the last poles that got uh, put up. So I mean, that was that was a really cool experience, and just uh, I think that's. That's one that's going to stay with me the most. You talk about this ballpark kind of being built while you're here. You are part of the legacy that has become UW baseball. Your father you know, coaching here for um, or with your brother, and then you now. Um, what is it like to be a part of the UW baseball legacy? Um, it's it's very it's very humbling, and uh, I mean some some great history with this with this program, and to be in that conversation, it's it's very cool and. Um, you know, just being able to experience it with my dad and my brother is something that I'm going to remember forever, and it's very special for our family just to, just to grow as individuals and, I mean, get to see everyone grow together. I mean, it's, it's something that's very cool and something that's going to last with us forever, I guess. And talking about the actual baseball stuff now, any superstitions heading into games? Um, well, like BT says, I drink a lot of chocolate milk before our games, and... Uh, <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do, and I always listen listen to the same playlist. Uh, a lot of Calvin Harris right now. He's come up with some new some new songs, so I listen to a lot of that stuff before I take the field. All the pump up hits. Yeah. And heading into this final series, you guys have USC. It's a very important series for you guys. Um, kind of determines your future mm -hmm. uh, for the rest of the season. What's the morale of the team heading into this one? Um, we're excited. We're excited that we have an opportunity to get into the postseason. And we kind of control our own destiny, so we're just going to take it one day at a time and one pitch at a time see what happens. Heading into the la this last game with your senior crew, um, what is it going to be like stepping on the field with them for the last time? Um, it's going to be special, and, you know, I kind of really haven't thought about it, and it's snuck up snuck up on us a little bit, but uh, it's it's for sure going to be special. And, and just playing with this group in general for one last time on, on this field, uh, you know, some guys might not get to wear the jersey again, so it's, it's been a special week, and we're just going to go out there and play as hard as we can for each other. And doing a little bit of research, reading up on you, um, it's clear that you really like the team aspect of baseball and college baseball, and I think that's something really special about college sports in general. Mm -hmm. What are your next steps, though, beyond this? Um, I think I'll get an opportunity to play professional baseball, and uh, after that happens, whether it's 10 years or, or 5 years or 1 year, I want to stay in college baseball, and I... I kind of want to coach, and I just want to spread my knowledge about the game and just continue to, like you said, be within a team and have that team atmosphere because that's really special to me, and I just want to continue doing that. Being coached by your dad, obviously there are some uh, tough times with that, some great times as well, mm -hmm. but what do you think that experience will create for you in the future? How does it benefit you going forward? Um, well, I think just as a relationship with me and my dad, it's, it's brought us closer just as father, son, and as coach and player. And then for me, um, I mean, he's taught me basically everything. He taught me how to walk. He taught me how to throw. So I'm just going to hold on to everything that he taught me and continue that at the next level and just go out and play as hard as I can like I usually always do and just see what happens. And what are you looking most forward to at the next level, at the pro level? Uh, just an opportunity to play the game more and uh, try to build my craft and become the best player that I can be and hopefully – get to the major leagues and have a long career. But if not, I just, 
I'm going to be thankful for the opportunity that I get to play. And what uh, impact do you hope to have left on this program? Um, just the way I played and the way I treated my teammates, uh, that's really big for me. I'm not a big numbers guy or stats guy, but I just want the guys to remember me as the guy who cared and uh, put everything he had on the field and loved, loved his teammates and just loved being out here every day. Well, I think dog fans loved having you out here every day. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> the last chance to catch Jack Meggs and the rest of the senior crew here at Husky Ballpark this weekend. Jack, thanks for your time and Thank good you. luck this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it.